but surely Jessica Alba would not lead us astray. everyone today we are following Jessica Alba's Vogue video which includes skincare and makeup I was watching her video and I saw quite a lot of interesting kind of techniques she was using interesting tools and things so I thought I would recreate her look and process today and just see how it turns out for me I mean we all know Jessica Alba is one of the friggin hottest bitches on the earth so I hope I can just apply at least one fifth of that beauty like through the makeup probably not but we'll try <laughs> This is Jessica Alba. I'm gonna put on bunny ears. Well, I'm gonna show you how I do skin prep. Okay, so first she puts on a face mask. And I like to put this mask on. So it's a deep hydration face cream? Is it? I don't know, they've listed the products down below, but she said it was a mask, so I'm not quite sure what mask it is. Let's just um, pop on a mask to prep my skin today. Hers is pink, so I'm gonna use a pink one as well. This is the Jake Jamie Feed Your Face Strawberry Donut Face Mask, and these always leave my skin feeling real hydrated. I feel like this would be a good choice. Oh my god, and it smells like strawberry jam. <laughs> it just feels like icing. Like, <laughs> that's the texture. It's a shea butter antioxidant mask and it smells delicious you basically wait for like 10 minutes all right we'll wait for 10 minutes and then she removes it with a sponge but i don't have a sponge like that i'm just going to use my face hello which is what i normally do anyway and look how nice and easy this comes off by the way look how beautiful it dries it's like metallic like how cool Okay, no shit, like my skin feels so soft now. I could definitely use some more moisture though. I'm feeling quite dry today. All right, so deep hydration face cream. We can find something. I've got this Moisture Glow Moisture Trip by Glam Glow. Let's try it. Oh my God, cutest packaging. I love it. That's so cool. She's quite vigorous. She does go in with another moisturizer. She said a water-based moisturizer. This one does say it's water-based. Should I just use this one again? I'm just gonna use the same one again. She applies a liberal amount. I like to use this little device. It got it. Basically just like gets the blood flowing. So that's that. I'm just going to do this all over my face quickly. Just to get my blood flowing apparently. I'll link where I bought this down below. It wasn't cheap, but I enjoy it. It feels real nice, especially down on my jaw muscles where I grind my teeth. Like right here. Oh my god. Like I push it real hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> like the vibration is supposed to like push product deeper into your skin as well and get the blood flowing. But she then goes in with a different tool, which I also picked up. This roller thing. And then you really want to double whammy it. Do this bad boy. And this one you can even feel like warm up on your face and sometimes my face feels like a little bit red. You can use it like under your eyes just here. Help drain all the fluid. This does feel amazing. If I had to pick between this one and the other one, I might pick this one. The other one's battery operated, this one's not. And this one, like, it's real cold. I don't know, it just feels real good. You really can lift your face. If you do, like, daily massages lifting your face like this, it actually does help to, like, drain your face and, like, just make it less puffy looking and lift up the appearance of everything. I've always done that, like, when I wash my face, I always try to, like, wash it upward, like, moisturize upward. Sometimes I forget, but I always do try. You can see most of that moisturizer's kind of, like, rubbed in. Oh, that feels good. Hopefully my makeup will stick to my skin right now because like it feels plump and hydrated like you don't even understand like that feels amazing but I'm feeling like my makeup's just gonna slide around on top of it. But surely Jessica Alba would not lead us astray. I usually put on an eye mask. Eye masks. These are the Pink Blur Hydrogel Eye Patches by G9 Skin. I knew I had some and these are like the best value because you literally get a whole punnet of them. So, I usually put on an eye mask. And I like these because they're this 
looks like cellulose. Yeah. Yeah, and all of the skincare products that I use are clean. My nail fell off. And why I'm so passionate about it is because I have such reactive skin, and I've had such reactive skin literally since I was born. She's doing a lip scrub. I don't even think I own one. I got rid of them all. Okay, so I found some coffee scrub. Look, I just got it all over my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna scrub the absolute living shit. Ugh, it doesn't taste very nice. Okay, lips do feel amazing. I'll uh, admit. I probably should use lip scrubs more often because I do get like rank lips. <laughs> I've got shit all under my nails. I put on my nail again. Nice she said straight away, moisturize afterwards. And she said that's the skin prep. So now we're moving on to everything else. <laughs> she keeps these on while she does her eye makeup as a shadow guard for fallout but it's kind of weird because she like primes around them and stuff you'll see hi everyone i just wear these nice fluffy bunny ears because it doesn't crease my hair uh, i am going to do a diffused smoky eye i feel like this looks good on everyone and i like to use two primers two so primers this is the glow primer glowy primer and i learned this from a makeup artist named daniel martin and basically, I put What's the, other one? the matte primer everywhere where I want to be matte. Oh, okay. So she's using a matte primer and a dewy primer. I feel like all of my primers are glowy. I'm not even joking. Okay, this one's matte. So we're going to use this one on... What? Okay. What the heck has happened to my primer? I can't get it out. And I can't undo the lid. I'm not even joking. Like, how am I supposed to... I guess that's useless. Awesome. I'm just gonna mix together another random primer. I'm gonna put this salicylic acid one by Jouer. It's not really a glowy one. It's more for like getting rid of breakouts and things. So I'm just gonna freestyle this part since I can't get my matte primer to work. I've got some breakouts right through here. Um, so I've kind of put that basically like in the T-zone, I suppose. And then on the rest of my face, put the glowy primer. And she kind of like puts it up against the eye mask. I would usually put my glowy primer like right underneath my eyes as well, just to really brighten up my under eye area because I get very dull under there. But obviously we can't do that right now. Now the problem with these eye masks is they do kind of slide around because they're so hydrating. So I'm gonna have to keep like pushing them back into place. What's next, Jessica? Underneath, I put the glow primer everywhere I want to glow. I'm just gonna Brow brush. Brush my eyebrows up. But I've done microblading with my eyebrows. Brows are a big thing and they frame your face. I always kind of brush them before I start. So she's using, um, I guess something by Honest, which is her own brand, the eyeshadow palette. Although I'm not sure. Is it? I don't know. It doesn't really say everything she's using, but she's using a neutral palette and she's using a bone shade all over the eyelid. She doesn't use eye primer or anything, which is interesting because for me, I have veins all over. Those are all veins all over my eyelids so usually I use my P. Louise base or something like that to conceal um, and then you know concealer or something like that before or after or whatever she goes straight in with the bone color so I'm going to use the Shenexo Remix palette throwback because it's got a good bone color in there and she like smacks it all over her eyelids I guess we've got that um, face primer on our eyes so hopefully that will help to grip it on there she like smacks it on like this. She puts a shitload. And I first apply it with my finger. <laughs> I learned that all you had to do was have a really good fluffy brush and you can buff out all your mistakes. I hate this. Brown all over the lid. Okay, okay. Might just use need you. Which is this brown. Pretty, I'm assuming. All over the eyelid. It's just like a brown. So I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Hers looks way less pigmented. I feel like I've put on too much. So, so perfect. I'm totally okay with doing eye makeup before like base, but it's just this. This is the reason like I need to, if I'm not doing my base first, I need at least a full coverage primer to cover up all of those veins. I've got such like fair, like, thin skin on my face like you can see everything all of my redness like 
you can see veins on my face especially my eyelids though because we all know that our eyelid and like under eye area the skin is so delicate there okay i wish there was a product that you could buy that you put on your skin and it made it thicker imagine that would be so good all right now she takes some kind of like liquid eyeshadow eye tints eye tint by Giorgio Armani i feel like this girl could smear shit on her face and she would still look hot I feel led astray. Okay, a blushy tone. I've got this one, Enchantress, or oh, Enchantress, Enchantress by Stila. She just puts it like along the lash line. Blushy. I'm gonna do that just along the line here. Three. She's got another one, it's a darker brown. This one. Above. I'm doing right above. Maybe I'll do this one, the Metallic Lights by Milani in Bronze Metal. It's kind of a similar tone to what she's using, I think. And she uses it just above the other one. I look like a child playing in makeup right now. This makes no sense to me at all. Then what, do we blend it? Please tell me we blend it. Yep, she's blending it. So just like over the eyelid, she's just making sure that there's no harsh. This is... Looks pretty. You're trying to be extra. And she's using, I think, a Pat McGrath palette, which I don't have. But we'll try to match the colors. She's mixing together gold. Mix it with this like brownish color. And like a shimmery brown. And this is where I need to make sure that these eye masks are on right because she kind of uses it for the shape. Honestly, it's probably going to end up similar to this kind of color. Like gold, brown. Let's just use this one. She's using like a little eyeshadow kind of brush. And she's swinging it quite high. Okay, kind of like that wing. See? Damn. And then I end it sort of halfway through. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Um, I'm gonna use the Dior. Now she's using Dior. a bronze color, like a shimmery bronze highlighter. So I'm gonna blend out. She's blending blend. out with this into the crease. She's like blending into the crease with this shimmery highlighter. Okay. Might take golden mixed with gilded. This is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Illuminate palette. So these two. And I love this palette, but I don't think I'm going to love it in the crease. But she like blends out so much shimmer. <laughs> and then she takes off these eye patches. I'm just like watching this again because I'm like shook. Now I'm going to take off. You know what it is? She just has the most beautiful like deep set eyes that it doesn't even matter. She doesn't even need to use matte in the crease because like her crease is so defined already. <laughs> Those have been marinating for long enough apparently. And then she um, softens the edges with her blending brush. How am I supposed yes. to soften this? Okay, now she cream contours and she's using a cream foundation, but it honestly looks so, so similar to the Huda Beauty like, you know, cream contour. So I'm just gonna use that because I don't have a dark foundation. She uses a dark foundation. She's using her fingers. Color foundation. And I just go in where I would normally do a contour. Um, the cream foundation. And then she's using like a lighter um, cream in like a light color. Duh. Why can't I talk? Um, but I'm just going to use concealer I guess because I don't have a light foundation because I'm already pale. Wow. She doesn't do her chin but she also doesn't need to do her chin so I'm going to do my chin. I quite liked applying this with my fingers. Really warmed it up. Made it go on so smooth. For the light color I'll use this. This is one of my lightest like tub concealers it's in the shade vanilla i would use my finger but i can't get it in there so i'm gonna have to use a brush and she basically just like fills in the rest of her face with this she goes like just around where she contoured and she said doing this like it makes her makeup last all day so i mean fair enough <laughs> oh my god i hit pan you guys know how much i love this concealer i've been actually reached for it in a little while just because i guess i was reliant on this for so long so i was like nope Time to use something different, Shan. So that's basically everywhere. And then she uses a like BB cream or CC cream. It's like a SPF, um, I get tinted moisturizer. Tinted it's moisturizer. Like skincare. I might use my NARS one because this one is in the shade medium one, St. Moritz. I feel like it'll be a better color. Makeup with skin benefits. And then I go in. Okay, it's and go to town. And go right over everywhere. I'm just going straight over the top, I guess just blends it. That actually looks so pretty. I feel like I've put way too much on my hand. 
like you don't need much at all because you've already got like everything else on and let me tell you that huda beauty product just melted into my skin i like these little concealer concealer pencil pens. i don't really have a concealer pencil i've got these like concealer pens by covergirl let's just do this Shit. i'm gonna just put that underneath my eyes i like this translucent she doesn't really show her like blending it out what the heck? And I get like a fluffy brush. She's just left it there. <laughs> okay, she's powdering while this is chilling on her face. I'm gonna use my Nikia Joy um, translucent powder. Love this. And a little brush like what she's using. Let's just do a shimmer tulip brush. I like this translucent powder. And I get like a fluffy brush. And I'm excess. And I just like to powder where I don't want that shine instead of doing the whole face. So you still have that glow skin. I'm just doing it where she's doing it. And then she uses a bronzer and goes around where she contoured before. I'm just gonna use my Parquet of Princess by Tarte on a bronzer brush. Bronzer? That's me taking all the extra bits. I just go around where I contoured before. Okay, so then she oh blends. Is she gonna blend out this concealer or nah? Um, she's blending out her eyeshadow some more because she doesn't want such a harsh line. Can we do our eyebrows too, Jessica? I'm sick of your shit. Please. Okay, so now I'm gonna press in this. Press in the concealer. Okay, she's pressing in the concealer with her fingers. I probably can't really do that. I'm just gonna use my sponge just because my nails are too long and they'll get in the way and stab me. You know what? It worked fine. We don't look cakey. Thank goodness. I really like this concealer, by the way. It's nice. So she combs and uses so a pencil. I usually start from the outside. Starting and from like the outer end. One, Cause it has the brush on one side and the pencil on the other. There we go. I don't really have anything like right underneath my eyebrow cause there's no concealer there. There's no primer there. There's no eyeshadow there. There's no foundation there. It's weird. Okay, she's taking a shimmery, like a taupe kind of eyeliner, Marc Jacobs, uh, and putting it on her waterline. No, not really waterline, her lash line underneath and above. I'm just gonna use Overboard key, by Colourpop. Just get it as close to the lash line as possible. And on the bottom, I only like take it halfway. She also curls her eyelashes, which I will not do because I don't even think I own an eyelash curler anymore. And I still have like kind of permed eyelashes from my last lash perm video and I always use a primer let's do my current favorite which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lash brag I don't know if she uses falsies so I want to make sure my lashes look bomb honestly this mascara is becoming a huge fave fluffy cream brush lash. with cream blush looks like a nice like peachy color I've got this peri peri velvet one it's the pure blushed velvet cheek in affable peach speak like this just right there on the apples of your cheeks She's using two different colors of like liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick. Did she just say that she puts the lighter one on the outside? So, longer lip. So I'm gonna do the lighter one on the outside. Lighter one on the outside. Okay. She's going for this like brownie pinky nude. So I'm assuming this will look okay. So the first color is Sorbet by BH. And she like, kind of like blends it out. Like softly. She doesn't have a sharp line. Uh, uh. I think that's too pale, but we'll put on the darker color, which is exposed by Tarte in the middle. She takes out her hair, and her hair is amazing. Oh my god, my hair's like glued itself backwards. What the heck? She looks so much more like bronzed and beautiful than me. I'm, I'm, here. I'm not loving the lips. I should have gone a little bit darker, I think. Those are like a more rosy color. I'm just gonna alter the color a little bit. Maybe this color here, Burnt Spice by MAC, if I can open it. I mean, that's probably like a slightly better color. I feel very matte right now, so I'm not like digging that. Yep, that's it. All done. So what would I do differently? I would add brow gel, I'd add some color under my eye eyebrow right here because that's just my bare skin right now. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna add that bone color from the start. I mean, she did technically put that here anyway, 
it's just that mine kind of didn't stick so I'm gonna add some more of that bone color underneath my eyebrow and like other than that like I dig it like this looks very pretty let me put on my artificial lighting because the lighting just turned to absolute crappily whoa 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 too much it definitely is that very like sultry sexy Jessica Alba kind of look like it kind of looks like on movies where you just like roll out of bed and look like beautiful like that's what I look like right now like it's that kind of vibe like that very like slept in kind of beauty I guess because all the eyeshadows are like very sultry rather than like having mattes and stuff to really um, define your features you're kind of using those shimmers I would quite like some highlighter I might actually just put on a little bit but of like a natural highlighter like Lucent by Exo Beauty this one's like a Victoria's Secret glow like lit from within that's actually what this look reminds me of like Victoria's Secret kind of sexy undone so there's a couple of techniques I really liked I really liked or oh, one comes to mind really the one where she like cream contoured with her fingers and then slapped on some tinted moisturizer on top that looked really beautiful I will definitely try that again with some other products as well just to see how I can like fine-tune it to my own liking on my eye shape I probably don't really love the lash line like out of V kind of effect with the eyeliner just because I feel like it makes my eyes look tiny unless I add liquid eyeliner and everything like it just kind of shuts my eye up too much you know I love 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 this this is probably one of my favorite things like feels amazing thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this Vogue video let me know which Vogue video you want me to create next I will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>